Hey guys, it's Sunday, uh, the day before Memorial Day. And this is what the Cannondale ST400 looks like right now. Um, kind of did that rat look on the frame simply because I can't decide on a paint. So uh, sand it down between black, uh, metal, and the original blue. Also, what I did is uh, hooked up the brakes, put a pair of single speed wheels on it, courtesy of my state up there. Um, and I've got a single speed crank coming in, a uh, 165 length, 44 tooth. Um, I'm going to run a 16 in the back, so it's going to be a 44 16. I still have all the geared parts. In fact, uh, the friction levers are back on the bike. Uh, just in case I don't like the single speed setup. But the frame is, is really super straight. And when I stood over, it just feels really good with these nitto bar and stem. Uh, the bar's uh, measuring at 42 millimeter. Uh, the stem is a, is a stubby, it's a 90, I believe. Uh, so it kind of fits me perfectly. It is a 52 centimeter frame. Um, bottom bracket might be a little high, so I might have been able to get away with a 170 crank. But I've noticed that if um, you take really sharp turns on a single speed or fixed gear, and you're running 170s, you are going to clip a pedal. So uh, I want one of the 165s. Uh, it just means I got to spin a little bit more. But um, I just experimenting. The cranks were fairly inexpensive, like 45 bucks. Uh, remember, it's a square bottom bracket, so it's pretty old school. Um, so that's where we're at so far. I know some people aren't going to like that it's not painted. Um, you know, when you're working on a bike like this and you got nothing but time, you know, just take your time with it, work with it, build it up, mock it up the way you think it's going to look. And if everything works out well, then you strip it down and repaint the frame, kind of how they do cars, you know, hot rods and stuff. And that's kind of what it reminds me of an old rat, you know, rat rod, hot rod, <laughs> I guess, so to speak. But I've been having a lot of fun with it. It's just nice, you know, get your mechanical skills up to par. You know, work on adjustments, brakes, everything. Even my tape jobs are getting a little bit better. But, you know, there's still some uh, imperfections on my tape. But uh, I really like the way they look. The modulation on the brakes are exceptional. So those old 600s, boy, those are great brakes back in the day. And they're still great brakes 35 years later. So uh, I hooked it up with some Tetro. Uh, levers and uh, I'm really pleased with the way the brakes work so uh, they just need a slight adjustment uh, cleaned up the brakes beautifully uh, so we'll see how it all plays out uh, right now it's been a lot of fun oh man look how close that caliper is to the, to the actual fork it doesn't touch but man it's that close it's really that close. So that might be another adjustment I need to make. On the rear, yeah, they missed the seat stays completely. But, uh, you know, they still need to be adjusted. We'll see how it all comes out. But anyways, guys, if you have any questions on the Cannondale ST400 1987, let me know. Talk to you all soon.